Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at this compact, beautiful robot arm. The name of this robot arm is Amber Lucid 1. It has the reach 444 millimeters and the distance between the second joint and the sixth joint, I think this is a really important value, this distance is 314 millimeters. The payload of this robot arm is 1.5 kilogram. It has 7 degrees of freedom. And the weight of this robot arm is only 3.2 kilogram. So it's really lightweight robot arm for this payload. The robot arm is made completely from the metal parts. So it's not just a 3D printed robot arm. It's like a serious industrial stuff. It's produced by the company Amber Robotics. And this is the second robot arm from this company. The first one, uh, I made a video about it some time ago. The name of this first uh, robot arm is uh, Bionic One. And it's bigger, more expensive. And this one is a cheaper, smaller desktop size version. Also, it has some uh, interesting features. Like for example, the end effector has a really nice uh, connection, quick uh, release connection for the, for the end tool. And also I have the gripper for this robot arm. It's a really cool gripper made uh, out of metal, completely out of metal. Uh, it seems uh, really solid. I think it has inside the brushless motor, so it's not just a, a gripper with a servo, it's a really brushless motor gripper. We're going to test it too. So let's get started. Power on. Good. No magic smoke. Run demo. <laughs> cool. At least uh, we clearly see that it works. We can see that all the axis works. Even the last one, it also rotates. It's a little bit more difficult to see, but it rotates. So we can do some tests. Let's quickly look at the Kickstarter campaign for this uh, robot arm. The Kickstarter campaign is already finished, uh, but I hope that you will be able to buy this robot arm soon without Kickstarter campaign, but just buy directly from the company. So, as I told you, it's uh, 7 degrees of freedom, 1.5 kilogram payload, 444 millimeter reach. The repeatability of this robot arm is 0.5 millimeter. At all joints, it uses the brushless motors and for the reduction gearbox, at some joints it uses harmonic drives and at some other joints it uses cycloidal reducer. So this is a brushless motor and the reducer itself. Here's a picture of the quick connector for the end effector where you can connect different stuff like a suction cup, a phone holder or 3D printer head. This robot arm works with the ROS2. This is the main parameters. Supply voltage 2436 volt, uh, communication UDP CAN. The speed for all axes is the same. Gripper. Payload for this gripper is 1.5 kg, so the same as the robot arm. And here there is an interesting part, which is comparison between two versions of this uh, robot arm. One the robot arm is uh, Lucid 1 and another one is Lucid 1 Pro. The main difference is that uh, Pro version use harmonic drives at all axes. And the normal version uses harmonic and cycloidal drive. I suppose it uses harmonic drives at some joints which are close to the base of the robot arm and it uses the cycloidal reducers at the joints which are close to the tool of the robot arm. And because of the different reducers, the Pro version has a repeatability 0.1 mm and the Lucid one, the normal version, has a repeatability 0.5 mm, which is still really good precision, which is, uh, I think, enough for most of the application. And there is no PID regulation for the normal version. This is probably because the normal version, not the Pro version, has a kind of simplified electronics, which are slower and does not allow PID regulation. Also, the Pro version has some special ways to control, like AI intuitive control. I have no idea what is this. Visual recognition, okay, gesture, and the keyboard gamepad is uh, works for both of them. Now let's see how we can control this robot. By the way, this is the home position of this robot arm, straight. And you need to put your robot arm in the home position before switching it on. But there is a walk around about this. So if you don't want uh, to start from the home position, this is not a problem. The connection is super simple. 
there is one wire with the power which goes to the emergency stop button and there is a second wire with the signal which goes to the X hub and this X hub you connect to your PC and you connect it via the Ethernet and after each actuator connects to the previous one and to the next one so this is a daisy chain connection the easiest way to control this robot is to use Amber Robot Studio let me show you to run Amber Robot Studio what you need is just to open the browser go to the Sotana web page and you will have all this beautiful control so here there is a possibility to control your robot in the joint space with these sliders in the real space so xyz roll pitch yo and this is arm angle this is because this is 70 degrees of freedom so you can reach xyz roll pitch yo with uh, multiple positions back home this is i think uh, to move it faster or slower program i don't know exactly but i think here you can write some kind of program dragon here you can drag the robot and record how you move it and afterwards replay it some settings gripper info and help so let's try to move it can i move the x6 yeah it moved let's increase the speed and move it again axis 5, axis 4, axis 3, axis 2 and axis 1 and with this button I should go home perfect let's try to do the teaching or what they call dragging record and now I should be able to move it let's move it like this Oop. now it's like this rotate it like this move it up and rotate it at the same time like this go here go like this like this Oop. and somewhere back Stop recording. So try to replay this file. Replay. Cool, it seems like it works. So in this demo, the robot arm follows the position of the tracking camera. This is a real sense tracking camera T265. And this camera can give you the position XYZ roll pitch yo. And you can use this position to drive the robot arm. So here you can see the robot arm and it mirrors the real robot arm and so when I move the camera the real robot and the, this simulated robot moves <laughs> so this is another way to control this robot this is quite cool let's see how long it will take to install this gripper using this quick connector and connecting the cable done ha this was easy and here's the view on the amber robot visual studio this is a program which amber robotics developing for the windows users and here we can tell to our robot to go to the specific position by moving this square we can close the gripper open gripper 
So with this Windows program you will be able to control your robot arm quite easily. So as you can see here you can control the robot. Also you would be able to program this robot using the simple program Blockly. And I think they are going to add some other interesting features. This is just a demo to show you what it's going to be in the future. This is how the gripper works. So now it's closed, open and close again. As you can see the fingers of the gripper they move uh, parallel. So they are not moving like this, they are moving like this. This is uh, really important because uh, with the uh, parallel movement uh, of uh, fingers it's easier to grab uh, stuff. And also I can control the force with which it grips. Now let's try to grip the empty bottle. I wonder how it's going to squeeze it. Let's put the smallest possible force for gripping. This is the smallest force. And the highest force. Yeah. It squeezed it more. Yeah, it's actually quite good. Can I take it out? Yeah, <laughs> it's a good grip. Let's see if there is a backlash. When I try to rotate it like this, I don't feel any backlash. But when I push it like this, it moves a little bit. But I think it's a flex of the entire robot arm, of the entire structure but not the backlash itself. Because when I push it, it comes back to exactly the same position where it was before. Let's quickly see if this robot arm can handle 1 kilo. It should be possible because the payload is 1.5 kilo. Let's try 1 kilogram payload. Okay, it can hold 1 kilogram. Let's try to slowly move it up and down. Yeah, it works. 1.5 kilo. Up. Down. Up. Cool, it works. Ha <laughs> ha. And as you can see, their arm is fully extended. One point five kilo payload capability is confirmed. And back to home. And now the time for the brief conclusion. Overall, I really like this robot arm. It's uh, compact. It's uh, powerful. It's very lightweight. There are multiple ways to control this robot arm. You can control through the Linux, through the Windows. You can use the ROS. You can control it uh, through the API. You can control it using the tracking camera, as I showed you. So there are multiple, multiple ways how to control it. Also, I like the quick release connector for the end effector. It's uh, super practical. The gripper is uh, very solid. It's a really nice gripper. I like it. And I see two main disadvantages. First of all, wiring. I think it could be done better. And the second thing, on uh, the programs which I saw, which I tested, there is no uh, feedback about the torque and temperature of these uh, actuators in this robot arm. And I hope that uh, in the final version of this uh, product, in the final version of the software, we will have the feedback for the torque and also for the temperatures. I think the hardware allows to do these measurements. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is the best way to support my channel. And also a huge thank you to people who support me via Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you. You are the best. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.